Welcome to Ogden, Utah, the third leg of the Archery World Cup and the final qualification tournaments for the Olympics. There are over 400 archers representing 66 different countries, making it one of the largest World Cups ever. I took this opportunity to speak to archers about the competitive archery culture throughout the world. So how do you guys support yourself as archers? We all work, we all work full time. Full time. Um, do you work in archery? Unfortunately, no. Yeah, we all just work in our full-time jobs outside of archery and then when we get a spare moment we're out in the archery range shooting. So it's pretty much work all throughout the week and then shoot all weekend. Yeah. So it doesn't leave a lot of spare time because we're pretty archery tragic and so any <laughs> spare time goes to the sport. Um, and because of our distance again, it's quite expensive in Australia to be able to come to these World Cups but the experience is worth it because it's the only way you can um, develop the international competitive um, calibre of the archers. Up till now, shall we say, the, we've worked on the association that uh, our, the Irish Archery Association would have funded athletes to go to tournaments and so forth. Um, unfortunately, the way it's going at the moment, um, economically we can't afford it, the, the association can't afford it, so um, athletes are funding themselves. Uh, it's not always easy, but um, we're fortunate that the three athletes that are here have uh, uh, private funding from the Sports Council because of the um, placings we made in the World Championships last year. So uh, other than that, athletes will have to fund it for themselves. Now the association will help out as best they can, so they will give you something towards it. But in general, it's getting tougher now for teams to go because they don't have the money. And the athletes themselves don't have the money. Is archery very popular in Ireland? Um, it is at the moment. It's it's growing. Um, we've we haven't got a huge amount. So on the association's books, it's probably about 800 archers. But there are two separate organisations, so they've. There's another, say, five to eight hundred archers with them. So, in all in all, you're about sixteen hundred, two thousand archers in the country. And for a small country like ours, it's yeah, that's a it's a quite a lot, you know. With given the fact that some of uh, the larger sports in Ireland, like the Gaelic football, it's it's right through every small town has a Gaelic football pitch, and it works that way. If we could do that with archery, it would be it'd be huge. But um, as it is, it's growing quite well. Uh, actually, archery is not that popular in our country. We are about 11 million people and we are uh, about 3,000 uh, people who actually do archery. So actually, it's not that popular, it's not like soccer and racing, because that's the two sports in Belgium are very popular. But okay, we are managing, we are going to the World Cups, we receive money from the government to support us, so it's not that bad. How popular is compound in your country? Well, actually, it's 50-50, actually. With, with I say before, we have 3,000 members. From these 3,000, this 50% is compound and 50% is recurve. Actually, there are a lot of uh, compound archers because it was also for the World Games, actually. We got funding, as I said before, for the World Games. And uh, a lot of uh, people are doing this uh, uh, compound archery. And we are good in it. And we had World Championships, uh, World Champions. We have record holders, we have record holders in it, so we are not that bad in compound. Recurve something else, we have to, to grow again because we had very popular, we had uh, somebody who was third place in uh, Atlanta and uh, we are losing a little bit this uh, recurve game, but actually we have a new program 2016, 2020 and we hope surely to be there in 2016. Uh, tell me about your new program. New program, that's top secret. <laughs> The qualification rounds, which determine the individual and team rankings for the rest of the tournament, are taking place tomorrow. With so many excellent archers from all over the world on the same field, we are bound to see some interesting results. For Knockout TV, I'm Nikki Haverstock.